Amanda here, and today we are going to be doing a, like, not, not like a summer favorite or like an August favorite, just kind of like a favorite in general of things that I use almost every day that I could not be without. So yeah, we're going to get started. Let's see, what are we going to start with? What? Oh, my shirt, okay. This is my shirt, it is from... Right back, it's from Walmart. I got it last year. It says Geek on it. Oof. And um, it has a little Smurf on it. And yeah, and it's a year old. And like, look, like this is supposed to be distressed, but if you look at the Smurf, there's like no cracks in him, like in his face at all. So the emblems thing on like super, super well, which is amazing because I wear this like once a week. <laughs> yeah, if not to laze around the house, I just wear it. So, <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to start with my moisturizer. I love this one. I've had it for a couple months now. And um, it's a hemp moisturizer. And it looks like this. It's called Warm Apple Cider Delicious Body Lotion. And it's hemp. I know like everything's backwards, but I'm going to at least show you guys what it looks like. Um, like what the packaging looks like. And it's um, like a pink color. And... It says hemp's treats right at the bottom there. I'm sorry, it's backwards, I know. And it smells freaking amazing. Like, oh my god. Like, it literally smells like apple cider was just thrown in to your, to your moisturizer. I have another one somewhere, but I lost it. Of It's like the eggnog one. And oh my god, it smells just like eggnog. Like, these are like their winter, their, uh... Christmas uh, selections and they're amazing. I love them. So yeah, I would I would look for one of these. Um, let me see if I can find like a website or something like that. Hemptreats.com. Okay, right there. I will put the link. Hemptreats.com. I will put the link in the description bar, and um, so you guys can check that out because they're amazing. What else? What else? What else? Oh, they're going to be like scattering because I just have like everything around. Um, this is my bronzer slash um, contouring makeup. <laughs> it's from Tarte and I got it at Sephora. I think it was like 30 or $40, which is kind of expensive, but I've had this for over a year and I use it every single... I use it every single day, and that's all, I don't know if you can see, uh, you can kind of see it like this, actually, like, you know, like a little bump, for a year, that's all I've used, and I use this every single day, and it's extremely, like, extremely, I might have to put more on so you guys can see, pigmented, like, if you look at that, like, that is just crazy. <coughs> Sorry, that was just crazy. Um, so yeah, you don't need much of it, which is why it's lasted me so long, because it does the trick with, and it blends like really nicely too. So yeah, <clears throat> that is my bronzer and contouring. What else do I got? Oh, I have a BB cream. It's from Olay. It's the Fresh Effects line, and I have it in light to medium. And this is kind of what the bottle looks like. It's got this like really pretty like yellow green and like a teal turquoisey kind of color right there, which I thought is like really really cute. And it looks great on your like while you're in your bathroom or something like that. It looks really cute. Um, and this one is skin protecting tinted moisturizing cream. Yeah. Um, I got it because it came with a kit. They had the um, skin effects kits on sale at a store a couple months ago. And, um, yeah, it came with, like, three other things, and it was only, like, five bucks, because they were on clearance, and I was like, what? I'll try this out, because I never, I never really was, like, into BB creams, but I was like, yeah, five bucks, and, like, I had, like, three different things, like, sign me up. And I love it. I use it every single day. I have it on right now. Yeah, I have it on right now. And, um, uh, it fits my skin. Fits my skin. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that. It fits my skin perfectly, 
and it's super light. It doesn't clog up my pores because I have oily, acne-prone skin, and it's absolutely terrible, but I do. And um, it, yeah, it's amazing. It doesn't clog up. It doesn't cause me to break out, which is really nice. Um, what else do I got over here? Oh, okay, so I have this for my hair. It is a Redken Pillow Proof uh, Blow Dry Express Primer Base Express. It's a mouthful. <clears throat> um, Time Saving Blow Dry Primer with Heat Protectant. Uh, this is what it looks like. And you can see like it separates. So before you use it, I think it has like an oil water type thing going on in there. It looks really cool like that. But um, you shake it. So you shake, 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 shake. And then <clears throat> you spray it on. I'm sorry guys, I have like something stuck in my throat. Like I'm sorry if this is really annoying. <clears throat> um, sorry. And I put this on either before or after. Um, my hair is wet. You can do both. It kind of depends on what, what I'm feeling like, because, um, if I put it on before, it takes, like, two seconds to dry my hair, and I have, like, extremely thick hair that, like, um, you can see, like, my cut's angled, but, yeah, I have extremely, extremely thick hair, and it takes forever to dry, even at this length. And I used to have hair that was, like, down to here. So, <clears throat> um... Yeah, if I want to, like, dry my hair really fast, then I'll put it in before, like, while my hair is wet. And then, um, for straightening, I put it in after, like, if I'm, like, duet, I can deal with, like, the 10-minute drying. I just really want to straighten my hair today. Then I'll put it in after. Um, I wouldn't do both, because then your hair might become a little bit oily, because too much product is never good. So, one last time, this is what it looks like. I'm sorry, it's backwards. And I got this for, like, 20 or 30 bucks. Um, I got it for cheaper because my friend works, <coughs> um, works in a salon, and so I just got her to go to the beauty supply store for me and pick it up. So, yeah. Um, what else? Ooh, how about I just pick up the thing right in front of me? Crest, white strips. Yeah. Um, I've had these for a little while because I don't use them every day, and the reason why I got these is because, I'm sorry, guys. the lid back on now oh this is just ginger ale because it's my fave i don't know if i already told you that but um yeah so i got these because little fun fact i have um wasn't really to make my teeth whiter because my teeth are kind of like already white but uh you can't see but these two teeth right here this half and that half are fake <laughs> yeah they're fake because i've knocked my teeth out twice once when I was younger, I was playing on a slide, and this girl pushed me, and I whacked my face off, and I knocked out, like, the hole from here to here, here to here. It was gone, and it was nasty. It was terrible. I, like, I wouldn't even go into that. Like, it was bad, and it was painful. Um, the second time, I slipped when I was coming out of the pool when I was, like, it was the summer before grade 7. It was a week before grade 7, so a week before junior high, I was in the pool, and, um, I was, I don't know, just, like, screwing around, and I fell, and I whacked my two front teeth off the side of the pool, and those were my adult teeth. So, week four grade seven, I had no front teeth. Ah, well, I had, like, half a front teeth. So, yeah. We went and you got them fixed, and I was walking around the dentist's office, and I was like, I'm a walrus, because I was like, oh, yeah, he's fat. But anyways, these are amazing. I got them in, um, oh, yeah, but long story short is when I just got my new, um, my new things put on my teeth, uh, they, nothing would color match my teeth, because even though my teeth are naturally, like, pretty white, like, you can see now, because I barely use these, um, I had to use them twice, to just cut, and every once in a while, but they don't white, they don't whiten your false parts, so anybody out there that has, like, a false, um, like, tooth or anything like that, it won't whiten that, it just whitens everything around, so, um, yeah. They're really easy to use. Um, you just peel them, you stick them, you let them sit. These ones, I think I let, these ones I think you were supposed to let them sit for like an hour or two, which was ridiculous. I hated it. Um, advanced seal technology were these ones, and they actually, that did actually work. Um, two hours daily. Yeah, two hours daily. It was a long time. I usually do that when I was like, doing my like, nighttime 
routine. I don't know. So yeah, these are expensive. So these are like $65. But you know what? They work really, really well. And um, I suggest them. This video is getting kind of long. I'm sorry. I think it's because I'm rambling. My next thing is this absolutely gorgeous the Sephora on the bottom. Sephora. Um, kabuki brush and I got it a couple weeks ago with a kit that with like a bunch of makeup that I bought and um, I bought so much this was like three bucks which is crazy because I think it's like 20 so you have a lid that you take off and then this is really cool so like when you put it back in you just like bring this up so you don't damage your bristles right because when you put like a lid back onto a brush so many times you like hit it and the bristles will like go to the side like that and you'll ruin them but this is really pretty pink oops so you just like squish that down to the bottom there this is like just like a really pretty pink hot pink kabuki brush and oh my god it is like the softest oh softest thing in the world it's just like a bunch of feathers touching your face it's amazing like if you were getting a kabuki brush get one of these they i love them I, I just love it amazing so that is my kabuki brush what else i think we will go into my foundation i'm missing a foundation my foundation I had it but um, I don't know where it is it's a uh, it's the cover girl not the photo finish ah, what is it um, wait no it is the photo finish it's the cover girl photo finish in like a medium to light shade and it works amazing I don't have it on today because I just didn't, just didn't feel like it to be honest um yeah I really like it the bottle is a uh, clear and it has a gray bluish top on it. Um, I'm sorry I can't find it. I don't know where the heck that is. Yeah. Um, but moving on to my powder foundation that I absolutely love. This is CoverGirl um, Clean Oil Oil Control Pressed Powder in Warm Beige, which is uh, 545. Um, that's the color number. So here is my so little compact and I love this stuff I've been using this um, powder for I think since I started using makeup in junior high I absolutely love it I've tried other ones and none of them I find work exactly the same for me because my skin is really oily like I said and acne prone which you know what is just it's that's just my life so yeah um what else do I got in front of me here Oh, we have my glasses on for this because I can't read. Okay. So what we're going to do next are some eyeliners. And the print is really small, so I need my glasses if the print is really small. Because I have almost perfect, perfect vision, but things up close, I can't always see really good. So these are my glasses. I don't know who they're by. They're handcrafted. I know that I have a pair of apple bottoms somewhere. Oh. Yeah, so sorry about the glare. So here's my glasses. Now I look completely nerd-tastic. Oh, look, geek. Yeah, geek. Okay. So what's going on? I got this Marcel liquid eyeliner pen in very black in ultra fine. So let's. Ah. So there we go. See, it says ultra fine Marcel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Liquid black. Um, this is what your pen looks like what your pen looks like and it goes on um like really smooth sorry that line is like really jacked up but um i can't draw a straight line there we go okay so those are your lines <laughs> and um i think this is actually waterproof because it does not come off in the water so it's tightly used or horizontally it smudges like a little bit. You can get like a little bit of a smudge out of it, but you're not really. It's kind of like where you put it is where you put it. Let me 
tested waterproof or not. No, it's not. I used to have a waterproof one. Um, so yeah, I love this. I love, love, love it. I have it on, I have it on right now. I don't use a lot of it because I don't like the crazy, I don't like the crazy winged out eyes. It's just not me. Um, so yeah, this love. What else do I got? Um, I got an Annabelle Cole, uh, eyeliner in 73 black. This is what it looks like. And and that's what it doesn't look like. Ah. Okay, so yeah, Annabelle, upside down, Selena, and um, yeah, as you can see, I have used it a lot. Yeah, I'll draw a line for you. So that's kind of what that looks like when it's not sharpened, and it's really great for smudging, I find. Um, I love it. I think it's awesome. I, I, I usually tight line with them. Um, this next one, what is this one? This is a NYX retractable eyeliner in white, which I think every girl, okay, and it says NYX retractable eyeliner. Every girl should have a white eyeliner because what you do with this is, um, here, I'll just, I'll just show you. You see, like, here you can see I have it. Like, you just put it on the corners of your eyes and it automatically um, makes you look more awake. Next, you can see, like, my... Yeah, that's the eyeliner that I just put on. I got my some mascara. So, yeah. Um, yeah, every girl needs white eyeliner because you know those days when you'd be sleeping in and you look tired as hell. That will come in handy. Um, this is what I'm using right now. I'm honestly not that big of a fan of it. It's, um, the Falsies Big Eyes. Um, and it's double-sided like this. It's double-sided. And uh, this is like the big tip. Like, look how like the brush is kind of cool. One second, the brush is kind of cool, but it's like really gunky, and I don't like that. I hate when your eyelash, like, and look around the top, like that's just gross. Like, I hate when your eyelash mascara gets like that. Um, here's the bottom one. Um, it's just like a straight, tiny little brush, and it's the same. It's gunky on. Gunky there too. I just don't like it. Normally I get the um the lash blast. Yeah, the lash blast and the orange bottle from CoverGirl. I like that one. Um I've been using that one for like two years. Um but yeah, I, I bought this on a whim because my friend had it and she loved it and uh I'm not a fan. I'm using it right now and if you look if you look like my eyelashes like are not that defined. Um, and I even used an eyelash curler. And normally, like with my other ones, my eyes would be like, bam. So yeah. Um, what else? I just hit myself in the face. Uh, I don't think I need my glasses anymore. So nothing else has fall print. Yay! Cause I don't like wearing them. Um, what is this? This is my EOS EOS little um ball. It's I like that really cool like twist top it's in um like that minty green kind of color and it's the flavor mint and i absolutely love it yeah it's like a little oh my god it feels so good on your lips like the mint oh like that's one of the best mint um lips lip products that i've been able to find it's amazing what else do i got well, oh, because, you know, my acne-prone skin, this is the best thing that I found for it. This is Clearasil Overnight Face Lotion. Helps visibly reduce redness and size overnight. Let me tell you, this is, okay, this is like a small bottle. It's like $14. It lasts me using it every second night, two months, three months, two, three months. And it lasts so long. Um, it's a white cream... Yeah, like it rubs on really. Eh, it smells like actually, just smells like a regular lotion. Actually, putting it on your face just smells like regular lotion, which is kind of nice. Um, that stuff is amazing. Um, like literally I'll have like a breakout when I get home or something like that. I'll put that on my face and within like four hours or like overnight, my face is like completely cleared up. That's the only thing that's ever worked. I will do like a full my skin routine. Um, 
maybe in a different video showing you everything that I use on my face. And yeah, um, what else? This is something else that I use. It's the Skin Renew Overnight um, Peel for uh, uneven skin tone. And the reason why I use that is because I have true olive skin. Now, some people have medium skin that they're like, oh, it's olive. No, I am true olive skin. And true olive skin tones um, are extremely uneven, extremely uneven. Like we have um, patches of like different, sound like freaking spotted leopard, but we have like patches of different colors kind of like on our face. And that's just the way it is. Like right here, right there, you guys can't see it because it's covered up by makeup. But like right there, I have like this like darker brown color, like kind of like all right there. And I've always had it and it's not a birthmark. It's just my skin tone. And then um, in this area right here on my jawline, it's kind of like um, a really light green color like this. <laughs> and that just comes with olive skin tones. And true, I've met so many people with true olive skin tones that have the exact same problem. So that helps. The, um, the things on like the side have almost completely gone. So if you have my issue, or even like a different one, but you want to like even your skin tone out, I'd recommend getting that. And it's the um, Garnier Skin Renewal. It's kind of expensive, but it's really good stuff. It's my second bottle, because I like it. And I use it every second night, because every other night I use this. So I alternate. Um, what's this? this is my current eyeshadow palette, and it's really adorable with the screen colors. Quo. So I'm still saying that right. Deluxe Beauty Portfolio. And it opens. Oh, it's a mess. Yeah. Probably should have cleaned that out. Huh. Okay. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's got eyeshadows and uh, blushes and I think that's like a concealer type thing. Um, some contouring, bronzers, stuff like that right there. And then on the bottom, it's got cream eyeliners on the top, and it's got um, lipsticks on the bottom. So these are the lipsticks. Those are the cream eyeliners. Um, as you can see, I've never used it because I don't like using the lipsticks in there, and I'm not like a huge fan of cream liners. And I've had this for a while. I should probably give it a try. What else? What else? Oh, perfumes. Halle Berry. Um, I have two Halle Berry ones. I forgot. Um, I ran out of the other one and I got rid of the bottle, which I'm sad because I love the bottle. This one is Halle Berry Pure Orchid, and I've been using this one. I've always had this in my collection for about three years. When I find a product I like, I keep it around, but then like, I add other fun ones in there. It's purple top. It's really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it because it's like through the very hand. What else? Oh, this one I didn't buy. My mom bought it for me because she thought that I liked Lady Gaga, and I don't. No offense to any of you Lady Gaga lovers out there, but anyways, so she bought me the, um, I don't even remember what this is called, the Lady Gaga perfume, and cream, <laughs> that's what's called, it's on the inside, and I will tell you this, it smells amazing, oh my god, it's one of the best smelling perfumes ever, and then, ah, uh, wait till I see this one, this one, you're gonna recognize, you would recognize this is some Justin Bieber perfume. Um, I have both. I have both his perfumes, and I love them. I think they smell so so good. I the um top like the case that it comes with, like that heart squishy case. I actually put my brushes in there. It's a really cute brush holder, and it's a heart. See, so I love that. What else do I got? Oh, this is my must. This is like one of my must haves. It's my watch. It's rose gold, which is my absolute favorite I love rose gold it's got like these like pretty little diamonds on the side and um what else my iPod yeah it's kind of like in this like pink coral kind of color and this one's the latest that I got for working out um that is it for my famous video but oh I'm gonna show you this so I did my nails yesterday and so like they're like this like kind of like corally color yeah kind of coral pink and then bam on the sides what i just went with like this like kid design it's like 
a paint cartoon paint splatter and I only did it on the thumbs because thumbs a little jacked and uh yeah I just thought I'd show you that <laughs> sorry this video is so long but I'll talk at you guys later